when you are faced with difficulties, problems, see yourself as a computer. Consider yourself as a computer. Avoid viruses. When viruses enter computer, what happens? Jude. Two things. Number one, it will slow the computer down. Abby? And then if it is not uh, uh, taking care of what will happen, it will shut down the computer. The things that shut you down, that shut me down, are not the problems out there. It is the viruses that the perception of the problems put into your soul. In other words, you can say it is the food you eat. One of them is fear. The other ones are mentioned in the second reading. The second one I mentioned is do not support that to the Ephesians chapter 4. We'll be reading Ephesians all this one. Very fantastic writing. Do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God in whom you will sit for the day of redemption. Let all bitterness, everybody say bitterness. Bitterness is a virus. It will shut you down. For some of you, it is slowing you down now. Gradually, it will shut you down. You know what bitterness is, ba? Eh? Bitterness, anger, wrath, all of them are in the same family of virus. They are in the virus family of Staphylococcus, the person who is in it. Bitterness. You are bitter with somebody who offended you. You are bitter with life. You are bitter with your enemy. You are bitter with even some people you've not met. You only heard about what they said they did. You are bitter. You are killing yourself. You are shutting down your system. Spiritually, emotionally, and health-wise. It's a virus. Don't be bitter. There are some ladies here, you are still bitter over the guy who dumped you 10, 15 years ago. Even after you are married, you are still bitter. Some guys, the same thing. You are still bitter over the girl who said no to you. Probably, in your own case, she ate all your money. You were always giving urgent 2K. And the problem is that you are giving the urgent 2K, hoping that the urgent 2K is going to make her say yes. Okay? They know they use money to toast woman. Let her say yes first before you begin to give her urgent 2K. You are okay. You did not talk to her. You are just urgent 2K. You will send. Hoping that one day when you... Okay, come. She, no, no, no. It doesn't happen. Anything you give before she says yes, is charity. But there is no reason to be bitter at all. Don't be bitter. Bitterness is like... It's like poison. Somebody has offended you and you are drinking poison. Hoping that it will kill that person. That's how somebody put it. Don't be bitter by your husband. Don't be bitter by your wife. Resolve the issue and move on. Bitterness is, is shutting you down gradually. Anger is there. All of these are viruses. Anger, I've told you before. The only person who is suffering the impact of bitterness, wrath, anger is you. Not the person for whom you are carrying it for. Then clamor and slander and malice say, put away from you all malice. Throw away malice. It's virus. Throw it away. All of these negative vices, no matter what you are going to see, it's better you are suffering poverty or lack of job or lack of a husband or wife or whatever than that you are also carrying these poisons in your system. You will, you will, you will shut down. Some people are gradually shutting down. They don't know. And you carry all these things, you come to church, you are very pious, you pray, you attend crusades, all manner of prayers, and all of that. You <laughs> Jesus said, I have come that they may have what? Life. And have it. To watch full videos and get notifications for new ones, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. God bless you. Sign up with the largest community of Catholics online, make new friends, chat, post pictures and videos, make and receive audios and video calls, interact with lots of priests and religions. Download the app from Google Play Store.